Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Funny for Friends, uh, my animal channel. I'm super excited. I have more in the works for you guys. Also, I have um, um, something that I'm actually really excited about is that I got a USB C to PC or whatever it's called. So now I have a better microphone. You'll hear me a little bit better. I realized my other ones were not doing so well, but it's because I didn't have one of those USB to PC things and now I do. So I'm super excited. I have a new little like podcast kind of area for you guys um, for, for me to sit in and, and yeah. Anyways, that's not what I'm here to talk, talk about. So go check out my podcast, my Patreon, and my, um, I think that was it, yeah, podcast and Patreon, sorry. Um, also, my um, handles for like Instagram and TikTok are below. And, uh, oh, that's, a, oh my god, I was looking at my hands and I'm like, I'm cracking these, which are, like, the mirrors, so obviously they're, they're, um, I don't know how to explain it, it's mirrored, this video, so I'm like, why is this one, I'm looking over here, or looking over here, like, but technically looking over here, and... I'm like, why is I'm cracking these ones, but I'm only seeing this finger go up. So I was, I don't know, I was just really confused there for a moment, and that was a really funny moment that I had. Um, but that, yeah. So that is basically what I just wanted to say. Um, the Patreon is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna have lots of snacks involved, so you guys could have your snacks with you while I have mine, and we could just lot, um read these stories together. And then the Spotify one is all about traveling, so maybe I'll also add in some places to go check out in um, little hints of that as well. So let's go and get started with the first video. Sorry for the long intro. And if you don't want to hear my voice of this intro, feel free to feel free to move forward. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Okay, let's go with number one. Okay, just gotta find it. And here we go. Oh, little duckies just swimming, having a ball. Oh, that's a TikTok. Oh, I love that. They look like they're just having fun. Oh. Underneath, that'd be so cool to have a waterproof camera or however you do it. Like, oh, it's so neat. Um, let me know if you guys ever had chicks as pets. I would love to hear the answer to that and what they're like. That'd be so cool to have one. And yeah, okay, on to Z next. Okay, on to number two. Putting a lizard in my fish tank. Let's see what he does. Aww. Just, just swimming, just having a ball. Doesn't care that the other fish are there. Uh, my boyfriend's uh, family, they have an axolotl and they put fish with the axolotl and he ate all of them up. So don't do it. Um, I, I know they did their research, which I don't really exactly know what it said, but or what they said about it. Um, but if you are curious, make sure you do your research before you like get these like fish and stuff to put into tanks like, we didn't, we didn't do our research by putting another frog in another frog's tank because that frog ate that frog and because he just randomly disappeared. Like, how do you just randomly disappear? So so make sure you do your research. Um, obviously, this, this lizard wasn't really aiming for any fish. He was just enjoying his swimming. On to number three. Okay, on to number three. Magical moment yesterday when the little hitchhiker showed up and wanted to join. Oh, look at the seal just really wanting to get on. Seals are human, are people, people, are, um, I don't know. They like their people. I'm like, what's a, are they like a people person? <laughs> they're not really a, they're not human, so you can't say it. <laughs> He's just enjoying himself on, oh, okay, back over. But he, they don't care. They'll just, they'll hang out with you. Why not? That's awesome. If why not go kayaking with them? I love seeing that. That's I love seeing wildlife with 
hu- human interaction that is safe human interaction. <coughs> I don't know why, but that is really cool. That's something really neat to see because obviously you want to keep your you want to protect yourself as do those animals. So it's just it's neat to see. It's something you don't see often. Anyways, I haven't seen it that often. Okay, you guys ready for the next one? I lost. Okay, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Mom, are you sure this water's sanitary? Looks questionable to me. Not sure. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> the bacteria. Mom, like, excuse me. Oh. Didn't she go in? Oh, I guess not. I thought she did. My bad. Um, did I? Oh, I could be wrong about that. No, I think she didn't go in. She just was like, I'm not too sure how I feel about this. Okay, on to the next. Okay, on to the next one. Some people have said that their dog can switch gears in the water. Let's see if that's true. Let's recap. This is a four-wheel drive dog. No other gears available. Yep, one way. This Loki's in two-wheel drive, but doesn't use her back paws. But she used the third one. She, like, kicks it at the back. That's funny. Oh, it looks like... And this is Loki in four-wheel drive. That's funny. I, um, to be honest, I don't have dogs that really like water, so I don't really know if they have that kind of situation, but it's interesting to see other dogs going in the water and how much they truly love the water. It's really kind of neat to see because water, swimming is a big sport for lots of people. Swimming is a big ha- hobby, hobby, like they love to go swimming, so it's just, it's neat to see that, um... So let me know if you guys have a swimming animal. If not, then, and, and sorry, let me know in the comments below if you guys have an animal that loves to swim or if you have an animal that is totally terrified of water. I don't know if you can meet in the middle. I don't know if, it, if I feel like it's like there's no gray area where the dog might like it a little bit, but cannot, but will not fully get in. Um, I don't, I don't know if that's true. Let me know in the comments below. I forgot to mention, I did the water theme um, for animals on purpose as summer is coming here very shortly and I cannot wait to see um, what kind of summer we're going to get. I feel like we'll get a very sum- summer, um, sunny and warm summer and I'm really excited about that. Um, and let me know if you guys have travel plans. I feel like I'm more of a traveler in the summer. I love traveling anytime really, but for some reason I have that itch to go traveling in the summertime more than I do in the winter. Let's get to the next one here. <coughs> My duckling's first swim. Oh. Is he also eating like the watermelon? I didn't I never thought of that, you know? Like cutting up a watermelon and putting it putting water in it for like the babies for babies that'd be kind of cool for dogs too like not like little ones that could swim in it sure they're just having a good old time but like having a little extra um like fruit for them little natural some natural sugars from the watermelon i'm not a nutritionist by the way i'm just saying that'd be kind of cool to cut that up and turn it into a water bowl for dogs So that they get a little bit of water with some flavor and some natural sugars. If that doesn't affect them, I don't think it would. But that's so cute. They're just enjoying the watermelon while swimming. Best of both worlds. Really. It really is. Oh. Cute. What do you guys think of that? I absolutely adored it. Um, lots of, I don't know, lots of fun, creative things to do. And these are ideas that you see here for your pets too, like the watermelon um, bath. That's kind of cool. That's, a, that's an idea to, to, to use for your, your dogs or ducklings or whatever you have. 
Okay, on to the next ones. Okay, on to the next two. These ones are a little shorter, so. Here's a doggo realizing he could stand in the pool. Just swimming, swimming, swimming. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, he's just standing there. Just like us humans, just standing there. That's too cute. I love that. And the next one. Oh, putting a bunny in. What does he think? Oh, well, he didn't want to get out, that's for sure. He wasn't screaming to get out. That's kind of cool. Um, have you guys ever had a bunny in the water before? I don't think I've ever seen one in the water before, so that's new for me. You learn something every day. Okay, here we go. Oh, just underwater. He'll swim along the bottom. Oh, so this is a dog um, who likes to, obviously, no hesitation. Um... This dog obviously likes to play fetch in the pool. I love doing the same thing. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> Learn how to put my nose in the water. It is fun, honestly, when you go underwater to do that, to, to fetch for something. That's cool. Looks like a lot of fun. I love the feeling of going underwater um, or like just putting your head under the water and letting it like, um, I don't know, it like tickles you a little bit. It feels really good. It's kind of neat. I love that feeling. It's like a head massage. I like it. Um, but I'd like to go underwater too and kind of challenge myself to get from one side to the other, but I lose breath fast. Okay, and then I think we just have uh, two more to go and that is it. Okay, and we'll do the last two together. Okay, swim days are my favorite. Oh, here comes Coach. He's so excited. He's like, let's go, let's go. He brought towels, my fave. Okay, time to get serious now. We got this. Mm. A little club of my footsies. Oh, toys, more? Let's go. Oh, could I be a, a dog swimming instructor? Splish splash, I was taking a bath. <laughs> again, again. Yep. <clears throat> My dog, you can see his puppy face. He looks like a puppy still. Now without the lifeguard uh, jacket thing. Yeah. Oh. I don't think uh, towel time, and that's a wrap. I don't. Th uh, I don't think dogs can be in chlorine for a long time. So I'm. I'm wondering if those pools are not chlor. Uh, have no chlorine in them. But I'm curious to know. I used to love leaving the um, like the pool as a kid. We would always go swimming, and I love leaving the. Um, leaving there smelling like the smell and everything for some reason it always smelled like donuts or something it had like a weird funny smell that it made you thirsty or hungry or something i really enjoyed it it was cool um but yeah i'm just curious if, if, if you guys ever had that feeling before and then lastly oh wow the hippo there look at all the food coming out of him <laughs> I don't know if that if that's um, giving him water or if that's just for play but that is it for me you guys um, I'm curious what you guys think what was your favorite video so far I'd love to hear your opinions you guys have a wonderful magical day and we'll chat soon bye now